So today, I am going to be building a model of DNA. To help me out with that, I am going to use some Q-tips, some duct tape, four colored markers, and a very thin dowel or stick. To aid me with my process, I'm also going to be using a pair of scissors, a sheet of paper so that I don't like mess up my area, and I'm also going to be using this template that I created. And I'm going to be following this as I build my um, DNA model. And on this template, I color coded the four bases of DNA adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. So to get started with building my DNA model, I am going to get my um, piece of paper to work on and I'm going to get a couple of Q-tips. Let me take out a few of them to begin with. And um, I'm going to color this Q-tip, each of my Q-tips, with my colored markers. But here's the catch. This is what I'm going to do. So since adenine pairs with thymine, I am going to color half of my Q-tip with the color for adenine, which is green, and the other half of my Q-tip with the color for thymine, which is purple. So then it will be like if the two um, bases are pairing with each other. And I'm going to use the same process for the guanine and the cytosine. So let's get started. Okay, so I went ahead and I completed my adenine and thiamine base pair. So let me just um, put this paper aside and show you guys. And so I completed my adenine and thiamine base pairs. And adenine is green and thiamine is purple. And I also went ahead and I did my guanine and cytosine base pairs as well. Guanine is blue and cytosine is pink. And I did 12 of each. So 12 of the adenine and thymine base pairs and 12 of the guanine and cytosine base pairs. So we have 24 base pairs in all. So now I am going to move along to the next part of my model which includes using my duct tape. And this duct tape represents the backbone uh, and the, like the two strands of the DNA model, which is made up of um, phosphate groups and five carbon sugars. 
So I'm going to go ahead and try, attempt to um, peel this out and open up my duct tape. really sticky so I got the top of it off and so I'm going to just get a marker just to hold it and make it easier and stick it right there and peel it off Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my Q-tips and line it up along the duct tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be alternating between my adenine and thymine base pairs and my guanine and cytosine base pairs. So I'm going to start with my adenine and thymine and then go with the guanine and cytosine and continue on like that. So I'm just going to line it up just like this. So now I'm going to ensure that all of my um, bases are nice and straight and evenly placed because now I'm going to fold my um, piece of duct tape in half and cover the, the top of my Q-tips. So just going to make sure they're nice and neatly placed and then I'm just going to fold it in half. Alright guys, so doesn't that just look so wonderful? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same um, duct tape effect to the other side of my Q-tips. But the only thing different is that I won't have to like individually stick them on one by one since this half is already stuck together. So I'm just going to get my duct tape again and do the very same thing for the other side of my Q-tips. So again, I'm going to get my good old sticky duct tape.
So I am all finished with putting it together in my duct tape and it kind of looks like a ladder which is what it's supposed to look like and um, I don't know if you can see it but between my um, colors I left a small spot white between every single pair and I did that to represent the loose hydrogen buns between the um, base pairs. So to get it to look like the double helix shape I'm going to give it a good twist and let's see how that comes out. Let's see and twist it. Oh wow! That is so pretty. So that is my double helix DNA model. I think it looks so so nice. And just so that I wouldn't have to keep holding it like this to keep it in its double helix um, structure, I am going to put the stick that I was speaking about at the beginning up the center and now that will hold it together. So I finally got my stick through my um, double helix model, Ooh, that was a workout, but I finally got it through and it is basically just supporting um, the structure of my DNA model, the, heli the helical structure, it is um, making it stay in that form and so I need to keep it in here and to make sure that it stays I am just going to put on my glue gun and stick um, my DNA model to the stick and so that it can just stay permanently supported. But this is the um, final product of my um, double helix DNA model and I think it's just so colorful and so pretty and it's a really good representation of um, DNA. And so this is the final product and I'm really proud of it and I'm really proud of myself. Thank you. Bye.